Hey there friends, Nibs again. Out in the garage doing a little bit of goofing around today and uh, got a really wet and rainy raw day going on outside so I wanted to keep it indoors. Thought I would uh, get out here and uh, play around with some of my pistols and uh, I just picked this one up and I gotta say I'm really loving the look of this thing. This is the uh, Umarex Colt Peacemaker. Uh, they also call it the Single Action Army 45. Um, but uh, here is the box it came in. I already did a, uh, a mail call unboxing, so to speak, with it. Uh, pretty cool. It is a rifle barrel, 177 pellet gun, CO2 powered. And uh, they do make this in a BB version as well. So I wanted to make sure and uh, specify that this one was the pellet version. They claim on the box uh, up to 380 feet per second. I'm going to go ahead and test it with Crossman Premier Hollow Points, so I kind of expect that it won't be anywhere near that number, but uh, it should be all right. This is not really intended to be a pesting gun or, or anything like that. Strictly playing around, plinking tin cans, and maybe shooting a, a target or two, but uh, definitely... Uh, I would not recommend this for a pesting gun. Not enough power at all. But uh, let's go ahead and... Uh, so the way... So you can load this a few different ways. So you do a, uh, a half cock on the uh, thing. And then you can spin the cylinder around. And uh, your shells are right there. And you can use the uh, ejection rod whoop, to eject the pellet out. And this one already had a pellet in it. So you can load the pellets in, but what I've actually found is really easy is you can actually uh, just rotate this. I think one of these is empty. That one right there is empty. And uh, so you can actually tip it and it'll fall right out. But uh, what I've actually learned to do here is uh, I don't even take the pellet out. I just have it sitting where it's uh, in that chamber and it's actually a lot easier to load than like a Crossman 2100 so <laughs> but uh, you just push your pellet in there and then when it's on half cock you can rotate the cylinder so you just keep spinning until you fill them all up and then you can either uh, take it back off a of half cock it doesn't go all the way down flush because then it would be hitting against the co2 valve um, or if you're done you can take it back to uh, full cock and be ready to shoot and you can decock this thing pretty easily. But I do have my Caldwell Chronograph app running right now. Uh, screen capture is going. So let's go ahead and run these six shots across the chronograph and uh, see what we can do. Three forty-five. Three thirty-one. 323 309 I'm wondering if I'm <laughs> I've been shooting this one and the bar quite a bit and I'm wondering if this one's just about done with the CO2 cartridge so uh, I'll have to keep an eye on that that's not bad. Six shots, average of 322. Um, I'll take that. Um, so let's go ahead and while, we, while we're empty, we'll do a couple of trigger pulls on it and see how that works. Got my trusty Lyman trigger gauge here. Let's go ahead and fire that thing up. I knew this thing had a nice trigger, but I really uh, didn't expect it to be that good. One pound, 2.7 ounces. Let's go ahead and do three of them, and we'll take an average. One pound, six ounces. And the last one. One pound, 1.6 ounces, which gives us an average of one pound 3.5 ounces so really 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 nice trigger but uh all right so we're gonna do a little bit of a little bit of target shooting a little bit of plinking and uh we'll see uh see how good we can do with it um we'll shoot a 
splatter burst and then we'll shoot a uh, shoot some of this knockdown silhouettes and uh, see how we can do got to move my camera down range there so stand by alrighty I am back uh, I've got my camera running down range here let's go ahead and load this guy up with uh, six of these Crossman Premier hollow points like I said put it on half cock and then you can spin the cylinder around same thing this uh, just like the uh, the bar I made mention of this during my Barra uh, Schofield review the pellet versions of these for me are are so much easier to play with <laughs> uh, because they load from the rear and you just don't have to pull those cartridges out every time I do like the realism of having those cartridges that you could you know eject and everything like that but for just uh, being out here in the garage and just plinking back and forth uh, it's really nice to be able to just uh, have, not have to dump those out every time the BB ones, you have to push the BB into the front of it, and uh, that's cumbersome. <laughs> so, But uh, I did go ahead and put a little dab of orange paint on my front sight post just so I can see it. This has a very minimal V-notch in the back, so it is, uh, it's tough for me with my... Uh, old eyes <laughs> but let's go ahead and see what we can do uh, splatter burst first a little high it was shooting high before too so I do like a single action I do have oh, that's grouping pretty nice last one that's not bad I think I might be able to even knock down those uh, knock down those silhouettes let's go ahead and uh, reload this guy real quick and we'll see what we can do so I just got to aim a little bit do a little bit of Kentucky windage on it and should be able to knock those uh, silhouettes down One thing I do want to mention is this gun, and I don't know why other ones are so much louder, but this one, even though it has pretty good velocity, is not too bad as far as uh, the pop goes. A lot of CO2 guns are very loud, <laughs> and I don't know what the deal is with that. But uh, all right, let's uh, go ahead and knock down some uh, silhouettes. Ram first. Maybe not. <laughs> get the uh, the pig all right let's get the uh, turkey all right if I knock down the uh, if I knock down the chicken in one shot I have one shot to go to the bell <laughs> all right oh hit him but he didn't go over there he is. All right. Well, <laughs> I did get him in six shots, so I really wanted to ring the bell, but uh, we'll save that for another day. But anyway, there you go. That is a really cool replica. I do, I do like it as a just a, a shooting gun, but as a replica, it is just drop dead gorgeous. Uh, really looks like I have a. So I actually have a couple of Ruger single sixes. That are pat patterned after the, after the uh, old Colts, and I also have a Colt. Uh, um, oh boy, what's it called? Frontier Scout, which this looks just like the Frontier Scout. So uh, I may get those out later on down the road, and we'll do a co side by side comparison of them. But I really just wanted to do a uh, good review for you guys. Uh, one thing I forgot to mention is it does have a little safety down here. So if you want to store it where people can't, uh, it locks the trigger. Um, keeps uh, little fingers from uh, accidentally getting into trouble. But uh, there you go. That is the Umarex Colt Peacemaker. They do have a couple of varieties of this one. 
Um, they have them in a blued version, I believe. And uh, I believe they have a couple different barrel lengths. But uh, this is my first one. Probably won't be my last one. And uh, it's pretty cool. Hope you guys liked the video. Till next time, have a great day.